Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead and today, we've got something really, really cool to share with you. We are going to be a part of a collaboration. And what that is, is it's three different channels, four with us counted in, four channels total, are gonna be doing a, uh, well, same topic kind of thing. How we milk our cow. Yep, and what's really cool about it is the channels involved are all from different areas. Uh, we all have different ways of doing it. Uh, there is no right way no. to do it. No, there's not. <laughs> and we've gone through a lot of that. Oh my goodness, But yes. um, what, what we're gonna do is if you will watch the videos that each of the channels make, and there's only four of us, so, it's not going to be some huge commitment. It's us. Uh, the oh, by the way, geez, oh, Pete's the host of the whole thing. It's not even <laughs> us. It's uh, 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 the Texas Boys channel, the Texas Boys. So we're going to make our video you're watching right now, and then tomorrow you're going to go to uh, the Texas Boys channel. Then the next day you're going to go to. Make sure I get this right. Oh, Homesteady, Homesteady channel. That's going to be cool. Cool. And then thousands of roots. Oh, very cool. And then at the very end, you're gonna go back to the Texas Boys channel and I'll tell you why. Because if you stick it out and you watch and you subscribe and you do all that kind of jazz, we are all submitting three of our own personal recipes from our home. Mm -hmm. And you will be emailed a PDF of those recipes if you watch all these videos and blah, 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 mm -hmm. yada, yada, yippee, skippy. <laughs> On to the milking. So in the past, we have milked a Dexter cow by hand over here, honey. And that was really great and easy to do. Um, however, now we have a Jersey cow who has been very finicky since we got her and has previously been milked by a, a vacuum uh, surge milker. And so we have had to transition from hand milking um, to a surge milker. Mm -hmm. And it's been very difficult because in the very beginning, she did not want to stand still. Stand still. She kept kicking. Mm -hmm. It was quite painful. I had a permanent bruise on my arm from her kicking and we lost a lot of milk. Um, and we get two gallons of milk every milking from mm -hmm. her. So that's uh, kind of hard to do when you're hand milking. Okay, so we do use a Surge Milker, and that is a name brand, but bottom line is what you have, and I'll show you uh, on the other side of this in just a second, uh, but there's a machine that actually creates a vacuum, and that vacuum gets sucked through this uh, tube and creates a pressure in here, and then these teat cups get popped on the old business of the lady, and uh, it basically pulsates, and that pulsation combined with the vacuum brings the milk from her udders into her, you know, her business, down into our bucket here. And um, I'm sure there's more technical terms than that, but that's the effective man on the street version. The donkey's excited about us being here. <laughs> okay, so here is the, uh, the actual vacuum machine, and I'm gonna have Krista turn this on in just a second. But basically, you've got a motor, and it's, it's hooked to a pump and then a, a reservoir tank. But go ahead and fire that baby up, mama. Yeah. So this is going to go ahead and create that vacuum. And we can adjust the pressure with these valves here. Okay, so to start off, what we do is we get her feed in the bucket and we head it over to where her stanchion is. And there's a bucket over there that her feed goes in and all of her hay. And my mom likes to do it differently than I do. But this is how I do it. And it Imagine that. Two ladies want to do it differently. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. It's so, all right. So you're going to fetch the beast or are you putting the food in? Putting the food in, then fetching the beast. Good. Now what we give her is a high quality dairy cattle feed mix. It's a 16% protein and it's got all of the good nutrition and benefits that she needs to produce lots of yummy milk. And that helps her stand so nice in that stanchion. Right here. Yes. Keeps her happy, and when cow's happy, mama's happy, yep. family's happy. Come on, Macy. She's <laughs> the star of the show. Oh, She's like, what is going on here? Come on. Easy as you please. She knows exactly what to do. And then she's going to be happy, happy, happy. 
munching away. Now, the clock is ticking. Because if she runs out of food, she'll get irritable. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm tying her tail up because she gets really antsy and she will swish her tail and she'll whack you in the head. Uh, and it hurts, especially when it's wet and poopy. It's it's just gross. So we tie her tail up. It doesn't hurt her in any way. Um, it's just a slip knot right here on their tail. It just keeps her from whacking us in it's the face. It's nice and loose. It's not going to hurt Yeah, her. it's not going to hurt her in any way. And then we've got this gate here to keep her locked into place so she's not backing up and moving around. So this, this is a good way to keep her standing still. So what we have here is the belt, and this is what the surge milker hooks onto. And it just clips right here. If you have a fatter cow, you can... Fatter cow? <laughs> Do that. A larger cow. But we actually start it on the first loop and then we move it down to the second loop as we get her hooked up. Because it hangs. Yes. Yep. It hangs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now? That, yeah, so that way that the surge milker moves with the cow as she moves around and that way she's not kicking over the milk bucket. All right. Next up, gotta be clean. Yes. And we have in this little bucket, we have three rags that have soap on them and it's warm soapy water warm is the key warm soapy she likes the warm yes don't and freeze her out no. then we have over here four rags that are dry and this one the first one you're going to use you're just going to wipe her entire udder off to make sure that any debris is off you can say poop it, dust debris. or hay or any kind of poop is like dry crusted to her udder we just kind of wipe that down and get her all cleaned so up so that it's not all muddy this angle. There we go. Let's see. You're all cleaned up. Now you're got the warm, soapy water. Mm -hmm. And you're making sure that all that funkiness is free from the teetliness. Yes. Yeah, we just need to clean off the teats because that's the only thing that the teat cup is going to touch. Yes, and this also helps too because she lets her milk down and she bags up. Tell me about that. Well, the warm helps to stimulate her udder to let the milk down. Because when you just milk her without washing or without doing anything, if you're not going to save the milk, it takes a lot longer to actually get the milk down. She has will involved, and she will hold it back. Yes. yes. Now that Macy's all clean, what Claire's going to do here is she's going to go ahead and take the first few squirts and squirt those onto the ground. Because what happens is, is a plug is created at the end of the teat, and it holds millions of nasty bacteria that we don't want in our milk. So she's gonna go ahead and squirt those out just out on the ground. All right, ready now to rock ready. and roll. Next, what we're gonna do is get her hooked up to the surge milker and get it turned on. And if you can hear that chuffing sound, the chuff, 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 that's actually that pulsator, the vacuum is draw, drawing uh, through the hose and it's gonna, it's gonna move that pulsator back and forth, which actually allows the suction to be alternated onto the udders there. Somebody over here is pretty excited about that milk too, aren't you, kitty cat? Okay, so now we're going to let the machine run for about 11 minutes. We figured out that is the perfect amount of time for her to completely get milked completely out. Because you don't want to leave that milk in her. That's a, that's a problem that a lot of people think that they can get away with. Right. Yeah, if you leave any milk in her udders, she can get mastitis very easily. Mastitis. So even after we take this off, we make sure that we milk out, the, we strip out the rest of the teats to make sure they're all empty. Mm -hmm. Now we're almost to 11 minutes, but I can see that the back ones still have a bit in there, but the front is almost completely drained. Demilkified, yep. or transferred rather. Transferred from her bucket to ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just about finished, so we're going to unhook her. And then we will tell you what is next with this. Now what we do is we use a teeth dip cup to put it on each of her teeth 
And this is basically a bacteria uh, killer. Inhibitor. Inhibitor, so that the spread of mastitis doesn't, you know, it's the redu reducer of organisms that spread mastitis. So you just pop so that this, on each? Yep, you squeeze a little bit into the cup. Hold on, let me see. Like this. Gets it in there. Yep, fills that up. And okay. then you just stick the teat into there each. There we go. Stick, stick each teat into the cup. Just like that. And she's off to the races. Yep. So now that the milking is done, doesn't mean we're actually done with the job. We now have to filter this milk through a really awesome filter uh, into our jars and get it put in the refrigerator. So we've got this filter. And yes, the, the hole is too big for a mason jar, so I have used a stainless steel canning funnel and have made a makeshift funnel into our jars. So this is a very delicate procedure. It's, it's tricky. You have to gauge how much milk goes in there very carefully, otherwise it'll overflow. See, see what happened? I put too much and it's gonna overflow. So I quickly put it back into the <laughs> container so I don't waste any milk. <laughs> or a little milk. Right, right. So now this one is finished and we'll go ahead and fill another one. And what happens sometimes too is it creates a vacuum, so I have to lift up this so that the milk will go through the filter. Now this is a good day. We don't have a lot of debris or hair or anything like that in the milker, which tends to happen. But this paper filter, and there's actually a mesh filter down here in the bottom, so it's a dual purpose filter, or a dual catch, I guess. Um, it catches everything everything it's awesome i love it and for those of you who do milk and would like to get one of these there is an amazon link down below all right and that's how we do the milking yep. now don't forget this is a, a cow collaboration ha. a collaboration ha. uh put on by the texas boys so you're going to go over their channel tomorrow then after that you're going to go see homesteady and thousands of roots and then back to uh, the Texas boys and don't forget because if you watch all those videos and sub and all that kind of fun stuff then there's gonna be some recipes for you guys I think there's gonna be a total of 12 awesome. uh, for you to have as just a thank you for watching the videos so with that said um, it's really cold in, in here uh, yeah I'm gonna go inside and blow my nose because it's dripping out of my face I think it's like 20 degrees in the barn yeah so I'm Brad I'm Krista and you guys have an amazing day